If I were to show you a picture of this guy, I bet you would not expect him to sound like this. Julia! My voice, wow. I know, right? It surprised me too. Jaleel is an artist that is not only known for his music, but he's also known for his crazy and energetic antics on the internet, which have given him a ton of attention. You may or may not have seen Jaleel on your Instagram or your TikTok doing backflips, ripping off his shirt, and maybe even spitting some fire verses. He even has his own juice. You want real raw energy? Then get you some Jaleel juice! Coming to stores soon. The internet has also been stunned by his extremely high-pitched voice being paired with his very muscular body. So because of all this, Jaleel has been able to use his unique voice, his massive gains, and his crazy energy to get a ton of attention on the internet. At the time of recording this, Jaleel has amassed 27,000 followers on Instagram, 95,000 monthly listeners on Spotify. He's worked with artists like Killstation, Craig Zen, and Brumming God. He has millions of likes on TikTok, and he has the internet's eyes on him. But Jaleel just didn't get this attention out of nowhere. Where he's been putting in years of hard work and dedication and it doesn't look like his energy is going anywhere anytime soon yo what's going on everybody my name is maddie balls and today i'm going to be talking about an up-and-coming artist named jaleel who i've become a huge fan of before i even get into the information i just want to say i think jaleel has such like a positive vibe to him and i think his energy is amazing and i really can't help but smile when i watch his videos or listen to his songs so i'm a huge fan and i hope you guys check him out i'd be doing more hand signs but i'm kind of holding my phone with my notes and my mic because i don't really have a setup anymore i'm trying to find like a, a cool background so if you guys mess with this let me know i'm trying to maybe use my door here i don't know i could decorate it a bit who knows i'm standing up and i could do jumping jacks whatever so uh, let me know what you guys think So Jaleel is from Rhode Island and his parents are from Nigeria. He says that growing up he listened to a lot of Afrobeat music which he heard from his parents and that has influenced his music quite a bit. He thinks that it sets him apart from other artists. He also says that he's always had a ton of crazy energy even since he was a kid. I was always that kid that was running around, flipping off walls, jumping everywhere. My mom would be like, Jaleel, come downstairs. <laughs> Throughout high school, Jaleel wanted to play basketball and he attempted to try out for the team many times, but in doing so, he also ended up getting cut multiple times. So one summer before his junior year, he worked out and trained really hard to make the team and he finally made the team, but unfortunately he suffered a knee injury and was unable to play for the season. He then again tried for the team senior year and got cut again. So he then went to college in Maryland and was studying psychology. In college, he decided to start trying to make music and that's kind of when he got into uh, all these different different types of genres and different types of music and SoundCloud and stuff like that. And he started making music in college because sports weren't working out for him. He also mentioned that some of the information he learned from studying psychology has been able to help him and forward him in his career in the music industry. After he graduated college with a degree in psychology, he moved out to LA with nothing and was homeless for a while just trying to make a name for himself. Jaleel took a one-way flight to LA with nothing but his bags and no money. He would try to hit the studio as often as possible and would occasionally couch surf. He would get sleep where he could and whenever he had the chance he would make some music. He was struggling a lot, he was mixed in with some rough crowds, and at one point he was even robbed at gunpoint. He said that the majority of his album, Angel From Heaven, was made when he was homeless. And he also says that that album was special to him because it was kind of the pouring out of all the emotions he had gathered from the past experiences being homeless and struggling. Jalil was doing everything he could do to make a name for himself. This is what I would do. When I was... Did you have like a... Homeless, I would just like go on Melrose and just like rip my shirt, scream Jalil take videos of it, and then like, just do crazy shit so people can see me, because if I didn't do that, how would I eat? How would I get people to, people mm -hmm. to see me? How would I get people to pay me to, to do shit. little shit? You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. I'm like, this is the only way. So I was doing that shit to survive. Jill said the only things he had was God, his willpower, his talent, and his brand. Eventually, music began to pick up for him and he began to be more successful. I'm not quite sure where he's at exactly now financially and all of that. I do know that he's mentioned in more recent interviews that he still was kind of struggling uh, just to afford to hit studio sessions, although I do believe that he's not homeless anymore and he's doing a lot better than he was. None of this is confirmed. I'm not entirely sure. That's just speculation, but his music has been picking up quite a bit recently, so I think he's doing a lot better than he was previously. Jaleel has also been going crazy on TikTok. He's got the internet's attention. His first TikTok account was 
deleted. However, his new one has already gotten millions of likes, hundreds of thousands of followers, and every video he posts seems to get a ton of attention. People are fascinated with the way that he looks and how crazy he is and him is doing his backflips and ripping off his shirt and everyone loves it. And I really think his TikTok is super entertaining. I went through every video and it's just super funny. So make sure to check out his TikTok too. I'll have some running throughout the video. Anyways, onto his music. I think Jaleel's music sounds very different. And going back throughout his entire SoundCloud catalog, I can see that he's been experimenting with a lot of sounds throughout the past few years. I think his most popular song that's been sticking a lot recently is his more energetic and rage type of sound. Uh, you can see that in songs like Dive In, Someone, and More. However, he also has a lot of more chill songs out too. Uh, those are just kind of more slept on. He can yell, he can sing, he can rap, and I think he does it all well. And it also helps that he has a pretty unique voice, which also separates him from his peers. He says that he's influenced by a variety of different genres like rock, rap, and Afro beats, like I mentioned earlier. He says that some of his favorite and most inspiring artists were DMX, 50 Cent, Kid Cudi, Paramore, and a variety of other artists. It's really hard to describe the exact genres he messes with throughout his entire discography, but you can also see very clearly little bits of influences from all the people I listed previously. Previously, when you are listening to his music, they shine through very clearly when you're listening to his music with those influences in mind. So after listening to his entire discography, you can see that he's done a lot of experimenting. However, I think the sound that he's been running with recently has been sticking more for fans. The sound I'm talking about is his more energetic and more, uh, I guess you could say a rage type sound, although that's not really what it is. Honestly, I can't really describe it super well, so I think you guys should just check out some songs like Dive In, Platinum Plan, Showtime, Jaleel Juice, that's a really good one, and some other songs he's put out recently. Anyway, it's very obvious that Jaleel did not get to where he was without putting a lot of hard work and dedication in. He struggled for quite some time now and all that struggling has paid off because he now has the internet's eyes on him. Only Jaleel knows what he's going to do next, but whatever it is, I'm really excited to see whatever crazy things he decides to do. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, I'm running late to work just to film this, so I hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave a like and if you really enjoyed, make sure to subscribe for some more hip hop and music related content. Other than that, this has been Matty Balls and I'll see you guys next time. Also, let me know what you guys think of this new background. I mean, I got some art here from the boy john sick i think i might maybe put more up on the wall or i might add something else um whatever you guys think just let me know what you got you guys are feeling in the comments you know i kind of like standing up for videos you know i feel kind of like i can move around a little more it's kind of fun although i don't like holding the mic my arm's getting really tired